if you sleep less than 7 to 8 hours per night, excessive daytime sleepiness, depressed mood, poor concentration and memory problems. It is called sleep deprivation or sleep loss. But if you have problems with falling asleep, it is called insomnia. Insomnia can be one of the causes of sleep deprivation. The lack of quality sleep increase serum cortisol levels, which facilitates further weight gain. Elevated serum cortisol levels have correlations with depression, hypertension, and diabetes type 2. Also, chronic sleep deprivation is associated with decreased testosterone levels. Low testosterone affects GABA and serotonin system in the brain and is associated with depression and anxiety. Other conditions which can caused by sleep deprivation include hypertension, vascular disease, myocardial infarction and psychosis. 7, 2 and 9 hours of sleep are generally ideal for adults and adolescents. Can you die from lack of sleep? Indirectly yes, the conditions which is cased by sleep deprivation can kill person. But there is evidence that American high school student Randy Gardner kept himself awake for 11 days and 25 minutes. During the period, he had some mental problems, such as hallucinations, loss of concentration and paranoia. But his mind and body still keep functioning. Can lack of sleep cause headaches? Yes, headaches due to insufficient or interrupted sleep are generally labeled tension headaches of psychogenic origin. Headache can last from one hour to all day, but analgesics are effective against such headache. Moreover, sleep deprivation or sleep overload can lead to migraine. Does lack of sleep effects on skin? Yes, skin hydration significantly reduced even one day of sleep deprivation. Skin gloss, transparency, elasticity, and wrinkles are significantly aggravated by sleep deprivation. Treatment for sleep consists of three general approaches. 1. Behavioral modification slash improving sleep hygiene. 2. Treating causative medical and psychiatric conditions. 3. Pharmacotherapy. Sleep hygiene means. Recommendations include setting a fixed sleep schedule. Maintaining a sleep environment that promotes sleep. Cool temperature, limited exposure to light and noise comfortable mattress and pillows, exercising daily, avoiding alcohol, cigarettes and caffeine, minimizing daytime napping. There are medication for treat difficulty falling asleep, insomnia, esopiclone, zaloplon, and zolpidem. But they have serious side effects. Among non-prescribing drugs most popular are antihistamines, such as diphenhydramine or doxylamine. While addiction does not seem to be an issue with this class of drugs, they can induce dependence and rebound effects upon abrupt cessation of use. However, people whose insomnia is caused by restless leg syndrome may have worsened symptoms with antihistamines. The evidence for melatonin in treating insomnia is generally poor. Antidepressants such as amitriptyline, doxepin, mirtazapine, and trazodone can have an immediate sedative effect and are prescribed to treat insomnia. Benzodiazepines The benzodiazepine and non-benzodiazepine hypnotic medications also have a number of side effects such as daytime fatigue, motor vehicle crashes and other accidents, cognitive impairments and falls and fractures. Suvorexin is FDA approved for insomnia, characterized by difficulties with sleep onset and or sleep maintenance. Barbiturates, while once used, are no longer recommended for insomnia due to the risk of addiction and other side effects. Herbs such as valerian, chamomile, lavender, or cannabis may be used for treating insomnia, but their effectiveness is under the question mark.